we want to see out of Mafia 3 and how we want to see it become a heavy contender for GTA. Uh, we're big fans of the GTA series, but we would like to see somebody keep them on their toes, as Lee puts it. One of the things that I really liked from Mafia was always their grounded stories. They never really had a zaniness to their stories like GTA has. Um, GTA, especially 5, is really kind of... They really kind of went overboard with their zaniness. Um, their characters were really fleshed out. But, I mean, they just... I mean, Trevor was so fucking far out there. You know what I mean? And Michael had such a sh piece of shit family. And then you got Franklin, who's like this drug dealer and gangbanger and who kidnaps people and shit and he was, he's like the most boring dude <laughs> in the yeah. whole fucking crew which is you ridiculous that he's the guy that's boring exactly that's exactly and so the thing with Mafia 2 was besides the story element to the game there wasn't a ton of other activities to do yeah. and I think that's one thing that we would both like to see in Mafia 3 is there be other side missions, other things to do besides the story while still retaining a grounded story. That's what makes me a little bit nervous about some of the new stuff I've seen about it. It still looks scripted and there's a lot of story involved and stuff, which is fine. I'm all about a good time, but at the, you know, at the same time with an open world, something that's going to go against Grand Theft Auto and stuff, you're going to have to have like other avenues of play in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially if you want to have some kind of longevity. Yeah. in your game you're gonna have to have other stuff to do this is definitely or at least it looks to be uh definitely a step up from their other mafia games mafia 2 is good but mafia 3 definitely has this kind of polish and production value behind it that the past mafia games never had and so it's going to be really interesting to see what exactly the else they do with it i wasn't sold on mafia 3 at first uh, something about 1960s New Orleans just really didn't click with me. But as I've seen more trailers come out, I think it was E3 was the turning point when I started seeing gameplay and stuff like that and how they were developing the main character. I was all on board. Uh, it looked it looked fantastic to me. So now I'm kind of on board with the story. I'm just hoping they kind of keep it grounded. Yeah. I, li I like the grounded stories. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not a zany person in, by nature. So. I'd say one of the things I'd really like to see that looks like they're trying to approach is that kind of uh, dynasty that you're actually interacting with your world, trying to build a, an organization for yourself. You know, I guess the story revolves around him dethroning a lot of these mob bosses and kind of building his own empire yeah. in that world. And I would love to see, you know, that kind of reaction from the game world. Absolutely. Itself, you know what I mean? And I mean, that could be a really fleshed out kind of uh, side part of the game like yeah. they had in san andreas with the turf wars granted hopefully it'd be more fleshed out because i think that's where gta uh starts to stumble is that they they implement so many other side activities that nothing is ever really fleshed out completely yeah you know what i mean that bothered me a lot with five and stuff because you could do the they had a ridiculous amount of car upgrades and stuff but as far as the races go and there was it was i think you had like four different vari yeah. like variations of races that you could do. Yeah, exactly. So it would be nice to see them do like a couple, well not a couple, a few, eh, several, we'll even go several, uh, side activities to do besides the story that were actually fleshed out. I think it would that would uh, work for them much better. So having that turf war would be really cool, you know, and kind of like controlling the turf and maybe even having some kind of like mini game where it's kind of like a, like a sim game almost, like running a business and, you know, and trying to make money and selling certain products and watching the values and supply and demand, you know, kind yeah. of like a little economic side game. That'd be they really cool. They messed with it a little bit in uh, the GTAs on PSP. I think it was uh, Vice City Stories where you could kind of do that. You could take over different buildings and, you know, upgrade them and stuff and put money into it yeah. and get revenue back and stuff. I loved it. I loved uh, GTA Chinatown Wars because you were actually like a real drug dealer. Yeah. You were like selling heroin and weed you and would like. Get you would get deals and shit. <laughs> yeah. I would literally collect every known drug that I could get my hands on. And then when I'd go to somebody who was going to buy it up, I'd just look for whatever deal they were going to cut me. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know why that was cool, but it was 
cool to, you know, actually be dealing with stuff that I understand. I mean, I don't understand anything about selling heroin, but <laughs> you know what I mean? What I'm saying is, is like, it was cool to like, you know, actually have a drug dealer it. fleshed out. I'm trying to imagine a you know? heroin dealer who actually plays that game. Or like, that's pretty legit. That is actually <laughs> yeah, the street yeah. price of heroin. I'm actually yeah. getting ready to do this right yeah. now. Like that's this, a, this guy lives yeah. my life. He understands. <laughs> they're looking at the price. And they're like, that's about how much it goes. And yeah. then somebody cuts him a deal, and they're like, that's an amazing deal. You should take that. Yeah, yeah, it was it was cool. But it'd be I I think I think that fit well with the uh, mafia, and uh, you know, doing those kind of. Kind of like turf wars. I think yeah. that'd be really cool. Yeah. I, I think a lot of the sports and stuff, maybe like hanging out in a pool hall or something, would be pretty cool. Yeah, because you I mean, know what I mean. That that would fit. That would fit the context of the Orleans, story. Man. Yeah. yeah, it's New Orleans. It's the '60s. You're dealing with the mob. Yeah. I'm sure they're always hanging out in bars. You know, playing pool pools. Yeah, exactly. Um, races, I think, would still fit really well, uh, especially if you could, you know, customize cars and stuff. Obviously, not like. GTA, but like put in new engines and stuff like that. Yeah, I think I, that'd I be don't cool. I think they're gonna take it as far as GTA did with the customization options and stuff. But no. I would, I would obviously, I would love to I, see. I, I would love, to, I would love to see them because I, I think like Turf Wars would be really cool and would fit well within the, the ethos of the game. Yeah. I think uh, car under you know underground car races would fit well too. Yeah, you know. And I think pool would just be kind of something fun. You know, it's a, I mean especially with how many pool games there's been made in the past 30 years i think you could throw in a pretty decent pull game in the side and not have it take up too much time you know what i mean but i mean as far as anything else i would really just like them to be really have this start a solid foundation and they did a really good job of mafia 2 with the story but that was definitely a uh, traditional mafia story yeah you know what i mean that started in the late 40s went through the 50s and 60s but this is definitely kind of the same idea, but with a little twist, you know? Yeah. Having the uh, the black guy be the main character and seeing him and come from, like, Vietnam or something yeah, like that. And he's trying to, like, tear down that old idea of, like, what the mob should yeah. be and kind of build yeah. his I own think world. I think that's a cool uh, perspective to go on from that, to take a, something that's been done a million times and kind of jazz it up in a way that most people haven't done it. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that's just kind of what we would see. Other than that, I... I think we can all kind of guess what we're going to get. I just hope they're able to pull it off. Yeah. We would love to see GTA get a run for their money and keep them on their toes so they have to keep, you know. Building a better game. Yeah, yeah. they have to keep building a better game because when there's no competition, you see what happens when it comes to something like Call of Duty. They just stop innovating and yeah. just keep regurgitating the same shit. Yeah. But, you know, uh, like, subscribe. You know how this works. We're out.